Hi, welcome to the Quantity Surveying Studio. In today's video, we'll be looking into some basics of Costex, which is a very good software that is used for quantity measurements. And mostly a lot of multinational companies use this software for quantity takeoff and also for rate analysis. Basically, the entire cost management can be done using this one software. So in this video, we'll look into how a drawing is uploaded into Costex and how different types of measurements can be done very easily. So this is how the interface of Costex looks. So the first step that you need to do is to make a building name. So you can click on new and give a name. Name means it is the type of project. For example, there might be a project having different buildings, maybe tower A, B, C. So the particular building name is given under name. And here this project is that project name. So here I'm just making something called test. And for now, I'm just giving it as a default project. The rest, everything remains the same. The base unit of measurement is in meters. Then click on insert. After that, this window opens up. So here is where this black screen is where all your measurements take place, all your drawings gets uploaded. And here all your dimensions gets uploaded. So I'll explain that. So now the first step is to add the drawings. So in Caustics, any type of drawings can be added, whether it be PDF, AutoCAD, even the 3D models, Revit models, DWFX models, the JPEG models. So any type of drawings can be uploaded in Caustics. For uploading drawings, you need to go to the Drawings tab, click on Add, Add Drawing, and click on the drawing. So I've made a drawing just for explanation purpose. So here you need to insert. Uh, these are some drawing properties. I'll explain to you this in the next step. Here is where you need to scale your drawings. So that can be done later also. So you can insert and your drawing has been uploaded. Now before measurement, the most important step is to scale the drawing. So mostly AutoCAD drawings get scaled automatically in Cortex, but PDF drawings and other drawings needs to be scaled by yourself. So there are two ways how you can scale. First one is automatically in your drawing, the scale will be given. So here if you see it is 1 is to 50. So what you need to do is go to your drawing here, the test, right click, edit drawing properties, horizontal scale and vertical scale. So just give the mentioned scale in the horizontal scale. So automatically it will be coming under vertical scale. So then click on update, see. So it has been automatically, I mean, manually scaled by ourselves. But this is one step. So just to check, so in drawings, measure distance, you can just click. So here you have a 200 into 200 duct. So you can just cross check whether your scale has been done correctly. So here if you see, it's almost 0.2 meters. So it is right. So this is one step. Now in another step is, I'll read drawing again, then upload it again, so add drawing. Insert. So if at all, sometimes the scale will not be given. So if that is the case, then how you can scale the drawing? So for that, you need to know a non measurement in the drawing. So here in this drawing, you have 200 into 200. So that means the width is 200. So that means your y axis, this is your y axis, this is your x axis, horizontal is your x axis, vertical is your y axis. So this, we know that 200, this length is 200 mm so if you know some non measurements you can go to calibrate y axis since we know the vertical length click on it so here you can start your measurement click on the first point click in the ending point and give that non measurement so it is 200 mm click on ok so automatically your drawing has Code scale, you just can cross check here again. Go to measure distance, click, see almost it is exactly 0.2 meters, that is 200 mm. 
So this is how you scale. And once you have scaled, then you can start your quantity takeoff. And for this purpose, you need to create dimension groups. So if you see here another tab dimensions, you need to start making dimension groups. For example, I will be explaining you three types of mainly the measurements. One is counting, then length, and then in area. So that will give a basic idea. Let's look into a counting measurement. We'll make a dimension group for counting. So let's, for example, count FCUs. Uh, see FCUs. So dimension add add dimension group. So you need to make a dimension group. So since it's HVAC, I'll give HVAC hyphen. We are counting the FCU. So again, you can give a name FCU. In the measurement time, you can give count. Then the dimension colors you can change. You just give as orange. And the shape of the measurement can also be changed. We'll give a triangle. Click insert. Then just here you have two types, line and point under dimensions. It's always better to use point because line will get you confused. It's mainly used for length measurements. So once clicking, after you click the point mode, you can just click wherever the FCUs are. You got one there. You got one more here. So there are two FCUs. So automatically, if you see here, all your dimension groups gets uploaded here. FCU, two numbers has been uploaded. Under HVAC folder, we made another subfolder FCU. Then the counting begins. Now let's make another for length measurement. So again, go to dimension, add, add dimension group. So now we need to measure the depth measurement. So give as duct. Maybe again another name as supply duct because there are different types of duct. Measurement type will make it as length. Again, color we can choose. We can give some color, avocado, insert. So we'll just, okay, now it is, ducts are usually measured size-wise. So you can, after making, if you need to make any changes, you can just go to the dimension group, right click, edit dimension group property. So supply duct, be 200 into 200 and update so it gets updated here see here so we'll just again for measurement also we can use both line mode and point mode so i'm using point mode here so just click the first place first point of your measurement click the next point to continue click control you need to keep pressing control then only the drawing gets continued so here again so here what to see the measurement has been calculated around 2.15 meters now if you want to get an area low let's uh, maybe just this area just for example again go to dimension add add dimension we are measuring an area so we'll just put some room give a name area so here measurement type will be area we'll keep it as green and insert so for this area measurement purpose we'll just click the first point second point third point fourth point and go to the last point click and this right click and click on complete area to so see the area has been calculated here three meter squares so hope this basic video on costex has been helpful so i'm planning to make vi more videos on different types of costex different ways of how measurements are done using costex how workbooks are created Please keep watching this channel.
Don't forget to subscribe to Quantity Solving Studio. Keep learning. Take care. Bye.